I'm Dr. Andrea Peterson. And I'm Dr. Eric Mazur. Today's Ask the Expert question is, what are the risk factors for prostate cancer? And on the set, we have Dr. Daniel Shasha from Memorial Sloan Kettering, an expert in prostate cancer. What are the risk factors for prostate cancer? There are a few risk factors. The number one risk factor is being born a man. If you live long enough and you're a man, you will have prostate cancer. At the age of 50, somewhere around 30% of men have prostate cancer. They don't know it, yeah, they don't need to be checked for it. Level. By the time a man hits 80 years old, his chance of having prostate cancer, if we look for it, will be close to 80%. But most men will never know they had it and never need to know they have it. And this is part of the problem with diagnosis and screening prostate cancer, isn't it? Is that if you look really hard, you can find it quite frequently, but you, we only want to treat those who are going to die from it. And that's why we're more selective in who we screen. So you ask who should be screened, who's at risk. The answer is, being man, the older we get, the more likely we are. So we, the typical, the classic recommendation today in 2018 is to screen men starting at the age of 55 and to stop screening around the age of 69. That's the broad basis. Men with a first degree relative who have prostate cancer or colon cancer or breast cancer, those men should be screened for prostate cancer starting probably younger, in the age between 45 and 55. African American men are at higher risk also of having prostate cancer. So those are the three main risk factors. Men who are taking testosterone supplementation therapy, which has become increasingly popular in this era, also are at risk of having a PSA unmasked, not necessarily caused by the testosterone therapy, but testosterone therapy can cause a, an acceleration of prostate cancer. In those patients, PSA should be checked every three months. Wow. Very important. Well, that's very, very helpful. Thank you. And it is an area to keep our eye on because there's so much change going on. Absolutely. If, if you have comments and questions for us, please do email them to healthtalk at wchn.org. I want to thank Dr. Daniel Slashaw. Please stay in touch.